Mr. Money Lady. Hey guys, thanks for showing up for this recording today. Um, in today's recording, uh, we are going to be looking into how to become financially independent. This subject is very close and dear to me in so many ways because when I began uh, exploring online business opportunities, I never realized how much independence you know financially independent it would get me and uh, i think one of the main driving uh, forces behind the uh, the project that we started uh, about small scale business ideas is predominantly to sort of like extend this financial freedom that um, probably may be uh, a lot of you guys uh, would only aspire and uh, I've got to point out to you guys that uh, for me uh, finding uh, a balance and uh, finding the sort of like uh, financial independence uh, that I'm currently uh, enjoying has been a journey uh, over time. Uh, it's not something that I think uh, anybody can uh, just attempt in me. Uh, in it, uh, overcoming and maybe probably maybe achieving it just overnight it's uh, I think it's something that um, you're gonna have to uh, apply uh, over uh, your lifetime span and I, I look at the financial independence as a, a lifetime project in my opinion at least from where I come from and uh, the main reason why uh, a small scale business ideas uh, sort of like it became a, a center you know sort of like a centerpiece to everything that we do online is simply because i think it's the what is what we think uh, is uh, the main ingredient in the in many uh, uh, lifestyles that uh, we've helped so so far to kind of like uh, uh, turn a leaf around and uh, find, uh, you know, uh, the in, in the financial independence uh, that uh, we all crave for. So in today's, um, you know, um, in today's recording, we would be looking into uh, uh, sort of like uh, sharing with you uh, what we're doing um, and uh, uh, what you two guys could be able to sort of like uh, uh, you know uh, go on and replicate it uh, in your in your own lives you know in your own lifestyles it's not a cup of tea for everybody and uh, uh, that's the good part of this uh, when we are sharing these uh, you know tips and tricks or maybe when we are sort of like opening the hood to show you what we are doing uh, to uh, to better ourselves or maybe uh, to take steps towards that financial independence we're not sure we're not sharing with the hope that uh, everyone is gonna uh, look at it and say okay uh, this is uh, for me we know that uh, it's not for everybody but for most of you guys um, uh, who are looking into uh, financial freedom uh, probably may be something that you would be interested in all right so uh, let me point out to you guys that uh, uh, f there are actually uh, a number of uh, levels to financial independence but uh, in this particular recording, what I want to do is uh, kind of like just look at, you know, quickly look at uh, a few uh, financial, uh, you know, uh, levels that uh, we can focus on. And the reason why I'm trimming this down is simply because uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of uh, information overwhelm. And that's one of the problems I think most of guys who are, are starting to explore uh, opportunities online sort of like uh, uh, struggle with. When uh, you have so much information on your hands, sometimes to take an action 
sort of like uh, becomes a little bit more difficult and uh, to get rid of that I've uh, sort of like uh, whittled down uh, to uh, levels I think that I think you know financial levels uh, that I think uh, we would look into so if the, you are at a, a dependent level uh, in terms of uh, financial uh, uh, independence uh, uh, or maybe uh, I should say uh, uh, financial social classes uh, it means it could be uh, a wife or maybe a husband who stays at home and uh, you haven't you haven't got a job uh, not necessarily because um, uh, you can't find a job or it could be uh, by choice that uh, you've got a family and uh, uh, having kids you one of you have to go to work so you had to decide who should go to work and uh, probably maybe uh, your husband was very well placed to be the one who becomes the breadwinner for the family and you stay at home and you look after your kids and stuff like that so technically even though you uh, you do most of uh, the work at home to make the to make you, you know to make the the home uh, be as nice as it as it should be a, a hospitable place where where the husband who has worked all day sort of like he retrieves it to go and recharge the batteries and stuff like that in many cases that's not necessarily looked at as uh, something that you're doing to contribute financially and in, the, in many cases you would find that everything that's happening in the house if the husband uh, says I don't have money for that then uh, you just can't do anything about it simply because you're waiting for the other provider to provide for the resources that you need technically you are independent you depend on your your, your breadwinner in your in your household to provide for uh, whatever uh, you're looking for uh, to meet in terms of financials it could be uh, somebody who is uh, a teenager or maybe a 20 something uh, young man or maybe a young lady who is still living at home with parents and the, uh, your mom and your dad they are the breadwinners in the household and they provide for you you are a dependent and there's nothing wrong with being a dependent as long as he, uh, you know that uh, all the needs uh, all your financial needs and the probably maybe your aspirations and your dreams are being met that's perfectly fine and the other level is the uh, the base level the base level is kind of like a, uh, you know um, when uh, you have uh, moved on to uh, sort of like owning your own house uh, you are able to pay for your own bills uh, you uh, you still juggle uh, in between credit cards uh, uh, servicing a mortgage and stuff like that uh, then we would say at least now you you are at uh, uh, you are at the base level uh, then we move on to uh, this level uh, where we uh, you are sort of like uh, independent now uh, at this level uh, of independence is where now you have uh, pretty much uh, you could have uh, maybe one or two mortgages uh, uh, you have uh, uh, you have established um, multiple revenue streams of income so uh, your income is not necessarily tied down to only one way uh, so if it, uh, let's say if you have a job a nine to five job uh, you also have probably maybe two or three side hustles that you do and the, they provide uh, you know income so even if your nine to five job didn't provide for anything and uh, if there was no money coming out of uh, your nine to five you still wouldn't necessarily suffer and say uh, what are we gonna do for money and stuff like that when you 
when you have managed to come at this uh, particular stage now at this at, at this level where you are uh, you your your your, your uh, you know your revenue streams are not dependent on the fact that you have to go and show up to a job uh, then I think there's some some kind of like a, uh, a, a level of independence because you are not tied down to the fact that you have to go and uh, do your fair bit of the day for you to be able to get paid uh, most of the uh, people in our society sort of like uh, move in between uh, they fall under the base level uh, or somewhere in between the base level and the uh, uh, dependent level but uh, a great deal of people uh, that we know who live within our own societies they are within that kind of level all right so in this video what we want to do is to sort of like uh, share with you um, some of the things that we are doing to uh, to move in between uh, you know from uh, uh, being uh, financially uh, dependent uh, uh, to to get on to uh, the best level and then uh, proceed, uh, proceed from the best level to go and uh, get financially independent but uh, it's also necessary for us to sort of like point out to you guys that um, there has to be a method for you to be able to move from one social class uh, uh, to another uh, social class and the that's what the roadmap uh, is all about it's all about f uh, taking time to sit back and uh, take stock of uh, uh, your life and look at what kind of relationship do you have with uh, 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 anything to do with finances uh, most of the people that I know when we, we talk about finances we look at it as sort of like a, uh, uh, we, we have uh, what I would call uh, passive relationship to uh, to our finances and uh, uh, if I if I should say probably maybe I should say we sort of have like a, uh, some sort of like a, uh, a subconscious uh, relationship with uh, uh, our financial status you you don't really uh, sort of like take an active role in the uh, in the uh, being subjective and the uh, taking uh, you know uh, taking steps in the uh, participating uh, in terms of uh, uh, how you you put money on the table and uh, what you could do if he, even if you are a stay at home mom or dad uh, is, is there anything that you could do to contribute uh, financially to uh, uh, to whatever is being brought into into your own household and that's what this uh, roadmap is all about so let's assume that uh, today you are at the, uh, a starting a starting point where you are a stay a stay at home mom or maybe a stay at home dad uh, who hasn't got a job uh, but the job that you have is uh, to make sure that uh, uh, one of you goes to uh, to work so that you can pay the bills and stuff like that and then you look after the household uh, making sure that you do the school runs uh, you uh, you prepare meals for the family uh, to uh, you know uh, to enjoy uh, dinner times and stuff like that uh, and if you had to sort of like start taking steps now to to move from where you are at your starting point uh, to finally becoming you know financially independent what kind of work would it require what sort of uh, opportunities are out there that you will be able to take advantage of and uh, what is what is actually required for you to be able to move on to do that and I've seen this quite a lot that um, a lot of people are moving are moving on to uh, launching online 
businesses uh, this could be an e-commerce website it could be uh, a, a, a blog where they share some of their experiences and probably maybe some of uh, stay-at-home moms and dads they are people who are uh, you know qualified financial advisors some of them are lawyers some of them are uh, you know IT uh, specialists these are people who are staying at home not necessarily because they don't have the skills to go and do the, the job but there is a requirement for at least one of the uh, parents should stay at home and this could be maybe you are a single mother or I should say a single parent and uh, you are caught in between having to choose to look after your family or maybe uh, f find uh, care for your family so you can go and do your job and stuff like that but in many cases there is a need for you to be at home and uh, do what you need to do and uh, as an option you turn out to sort of like look for alternatives that you could actually be able uh, to actively participate uh, in making money and that's either by starting a blog or maybe starting a YouTube channel or it could be uh, starting an e-commerce website where you are selling products and then or maybe you are selling a service and delivering that service to uh, to your uh, to your audience so what I want to do is uh, sort of like uh, look into what uh, a typical YouTube vlogging uh, uh, plan looks to many people who are uh, actually starting uh, YouTube channels online uh, usually uh, many people who jump on the uh, YouTube and start a YouTube uh, channel uh, their plan looks like uh, like this they would start a YouTube channel and probably maybe post YouTube videos every day so they do a YouTube uh, a, a, a video post one uh, day two they do uh, a post a video post up to, up to probably maybe a handful videos posted probably maybe 10 15 20 even uh, 25 videos and then they realize that uh, probably maybe uh, there is nobody coming to watch the videos but in the in the in the first place when they started this YouTube channel the idea was or maybe at least the concept was if I post a video that video then will eventually gain a bit of uh, traffic and uh, uh, it will eventually sort of like uh, earn me a bit of money and uh, uh, when it, uh, when it, my videos have started enjoying a bit of viewership I, I earn that money and that's the kind of money I would go and put it on the table and help my family to do that uh, some people have gotten lucky uh, and managed to do that and uh, they still see a, a bit of uh, you know pennies trickling from left and right and this particular business concept or maybe a YouTube channel concept is based on the fact that they expect that uh, the videos that they are making they are going to monetize them using what we call adsense nothing wrong in the in the doing that as a matter of fact uh, there is a great deal of people who are doing it and still seeing a bit of success but uh, what I want to share with you is uh, probably maybe another better way of doing this and the uh, it requires a bit of tools that you need to put in place for you to be able to sort of like uh, come up with the, uh, with something that actually uh, works as a business and the, this is the uh, the, uh, the kind of like a, uh, video uh, or YouTube channel uh, uh, business plan that uh, I, I I, I, I encourage people to sort of like look into or uh, it's something that I'm I'm doing myself I'm personally uh, building uh, relationships online uh, and the, uh, the concept is based on the fact that uh, if you can gather a, a few handful tools cheaply 
uh, you could be able to sort of like uh, uh, leverage YouTube channel to build uh, uh, a, a relationship based business that eventually then you can go and turn around and uh, either provide or maybe sell services or maybe uh, even physical products and the way how it works is that uh, you go out uh, and uh, get uh, these tools together and that's uh, you you go and get uh, a domain as well as web hosting then you go and uh, uh, you know uh, install a WordPress uh, content management system on the on your domain uh, inside your your hosting uh, server of choice and then on that uh, WordPress you build a WordPress based um a funnel which uh you you go and create what we call a landing page that landing page is connected to an autoresponder uh and the inside um your funnel what you have is the uh what we 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 uh we call our uh, uh we call in our business um uh, a self liquidating offer so let me explain a little bit here. Uh, the concept is that uh, you want to provide, you want to um, uh, to shoot videos that are valuable to people who are coming to watch videos on your YouTube channel. And then in return for the value that you're providing, you are actually driving uh, those people to, uh, uh, to a landing page where they provide you an email address. And that email address is is uh, is funneled into an autoresponder which is like uh, an email database and when you have people in your email database you start communicating with these people by providing even more value in exchange for for you and for those people who are receiving value from you to sort of like build a relationship in between you and the relationship is built based on value the value you're delivering and the value those people are getting from you and the, in exchange over time you might turn around and promote or recommend products to them so in this particular case when you are when you have successfully moved a customer or maybe a, a fan from watching a video on YouTube and they found your content to be more valuable they progress to go on your landing page and they give you an email their personal email and then once they've given you their personal email you send them to what we call a thank you page and on this thank you page is where now uh, that safe liquidating offer is made a safe liquidating offer is like let's say for you to be able to move your uh, your fan from uh, uh, YouTube to your landing page and then for them to subscribe it has cost you fifty dollars uh, you had to buy a domain you had to buy web hosting and you had to spend a bit of hours to work on the uh, on your on your blog to write content and uh, to shoot the video and stuff like that when you aggregate all these things you add them together they all add up to a cost of about fifty dollars all right so when you you help somebody when you provide value to somebody and they they get to a point now where they are on your thank you page after they have subscribed you you welcome them uh, on your uh, you welcome them on your on your thank you page you tell them uh, how much you appreciate for them to subscribe to your email list and stuff like that and then you offer them what we call a self liquidating offer so that self liquidating offer is an offer that uh, helps you to recoup the expenses that you have incurred for you to be able to provide value to them so let's say if the um, the video you showed was about email list building and the best the best self liquidating offer on your on your on your uh, thank you page could be i have a, uh, i have uh, an added uh, 
uh, you know I have uh, I have a tool that I want to give you uh, for you to be able to use uh, for building your email list as you begin your email list uh, building campaign and stuff like that and this could be either an affiliate link or it could be a product that somebody has created but when they purchase that product the 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 owner of the product is going to get, is going to pay you a fifty dollar commission for that particular product for uh, recommending that product to that person for me that commission that i get for that customer that i've recommended for the product that they are getting from my thank you page is a self liquidating offer because what it helps me to do is uh, it helps me to recoup back the money i've spent for providing the value that i've provided to that particular customer and once that has been done based uh, and this is uh, at a basic level like at a beginner level at a beginner stage if it was at a professional stage where now you are a pro blogger this would have been your own product and this could be a product probably maybe that's costing you about let's say maybe uh 50 quid and uh, that's a self liquidating offer so you recoup the money spent for uh, for the effort to bring that customer to this particular uh, stage all right and once that is done the customer then is also sent to an OTO uh, this is a one-time offer and usually this is a, a, a recurring product in this case this could be something like they say okay uh, a membership website you say okay I know you are interested in the building an email list but we've got a membership that membership helps you uh, uh, uh you know uh, gain access to the t uh, you know to the uh, premium t you know tips and you know tips and tricks that we apply in our own businesses that's helping us to bring in a thousand subscribers every month uh to our own business and blah 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 but for you to be able to gain access to this it's gonna cost you nineteen dollars every month all right so that's a one-time offer but if you had to come back probably maybe later on and buy it directly maybe it would cost you twenty seven dollars and then the, the the customer would be able to buy that and the best part for uh, for uh, for all these uh, products uh, that you would be offering at this stage where you put in together uh, tools uh, for the job most of these tools most of these activities are sort of like uh, things that uh, does not necessarily require you to get involved in it, providing the service or maybe creating the products uh, actively in, these are things that I think you only do once and you uh, you just scale them as you go along so it doesn't necessarily really require a lot of work for you to be able to do this because most of the work is is being done once and uh, you just continue reaping the fruits or if you're using an affiliate link then uh, the the heavy lifting is being done by somebody else okay so how does this system that we are using or the system that i'm talking about looks like let me show you it looks complicated but this is the way how the system looks like so we have a landing page here all right and we have a lead magnet here this could be a uh, sort of like what i would call a bribe something that you give to your customers so that they 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 sign up here so you offer they say i'm offering you a freebie but for you to get that freebie you have to sign up this they sign up here and they get this lead magnet and then you send them to the thank you page here and on this thank you page this is where now you give them the self liquidating offers that we talked about but here's the, the the interesting part the moment this customer signs up here 
they instantly dropped into what we call a warm-up email list and this warm-up email list is sort of like a, uh, what I would call anything goes and somebody who doesn't really necessarily know what you are all about you sort of like at a stage where you are both figuring yourselves out so the 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 uh the the service user is trying to figure what you are all about and you're also trying to figure to figure out what is this customer all about so what you do is uh, once they get in on the uh on the, this warm-up email list you put them on a a seven day email sequence so what this email sequence looks like is that um, for the next seven days you'll be providing them you'll be sending them an email either every other day or maybe every day so the, the first day they get an email and the second day up until a seventh day or maybe uh, they would get a, an email today tomorrow they want to get another one and they a day after they get uh, email number number two number three number four up until they get all the seven email lists uh, emails that you sent to them so you're probably wondering what is it that actually is contained in these uh, emails these emails are full of uh, valuable content helpful tips and even instructional guides that helps them to move from a starting point to a middle ground when i showed you uh in the, in one of uh, our roadmaps here so you're helping a customer to move uh, from this starting point to get to this point and the, those emails that we're talking about uh, the seven emails that you would be sending them you would be sending them information based on the, what they can do to move from this point to get to this point all right so this could range from business tips uh personal advice and helping them how to figure out the uh, to move you know to do certain things and if they have like sort of like if they have uh, technical problems in the uh, let's say they say okay i want to move from starting point to uh you know to uh, to reaching my independence uh, financial independence but for me to do this i understand and i've figured out that uh, the only way i could be able to do this is uh, by starting a blog but i don't know how to install wordpress i don't even have we we web hosting i don't even know how to buy a domain so you would send them emails you would send them recorded videos and you would send them instructional guides to help them move from uh, uh, not knowing how to install WordPress, to installing WordPress, uh, even buying a domain or even uh, web hosting, uh, and uh, to sort of like uh, moving uh, their web, uh, you know, their uh, WordPress, their new the web, uh, WordPress blog, from not having readers to actually having readers, and how to convert those readers uh, so that they can become buyers, and not only that you also provide you know instructional guides on how they can uh you know sort of like uh, start making a bit of money because this middle ground here is all about um uh, like for example for me my middle ground was uh, to uh, to find a way how i could do start making money from the time i launched my blog to now replace that kind of money with my with my current earnings that I was earning from my job so that was a middle ground for me so your middle ground could be I want to earn enough to help my husband uh, or maybe my wife uh, not to have to take overtime shifts on a weekend so that weekend if I let's say if you need 2,000 pounds to contribute to your husband's earnings every month then your middle ground would be for me if I need my husband not to work Saturday and Sunday uh, so we can enjoy a family together you know and stuff like that then you need to from the day you launch your blog to your middle ground this could be maybe from first month to third month or maybe first month to six months I want to earn my I want my blog to start earning 2,000 or maybe 2,500 pounds 
because if I'm earning two thousand five hundred pounds, my expenses for running this blog are less than uh, three hundred pounds, and uh, the money that we need for uh, for my husband not to work Saturday and Sunday is two thousand pounds, and if I'm making two thousand five hundred pounds, that covers all the expenses. And that gives you a breathing space for you now to start building now momentum for you to move from the middle ground uh, to this level here, where you're financially independent. And uh, for your financial independence, it would mean that um, even if your husband didn't go to work for the for six months, your blog would still provide the money that your husband is earning from his job as well as the money that you needed for you to earn so let's say your husband earns five thousand pounds every month and your 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 blog is now earning eight thousand pounds every month he doesn't need his job anymore he doesn't need it. and it means all the money that he's earning from his job they are going straight to your mortgage payment or maybe into your savings account or maybe looking into acquiring a new property that's the concept here. So when you get to uh, to this point here, the there are a lot of things that actually happens here for you to be able to sort of like uh, build a real business. This alone, this system that you're seeing here, this is what makes a blogging system that you put in place work for you, because. Every step of these emails is an opportunity for you to build more value for your client, deliver more value to your client, and even uh, build a strong relationship with your client. And depending on what happens here, the actions they take here, they are segmented and moved into what we call an interim uh, uh, email list and in this in interim email list uh, there are also a number of things that actually take place in here where now you are able to segment the email depending on what they need so let's say maybe you sign up uh, you know uh, in your warm email list you have 10 subscribers on your first day you launch your blog and those 10 subscribers, one could be interested in, uh, in uh, how to drive uh, traffic from Pinterest. The other one would be interested on in how could I drive traffic from Facebook. The other one would be interested on in how, how to, to make money uh, with, the, uh, with my blog that I launched last week. These guys, they are all beginner bloggers and stuff, but their needs are different. Or maybe this could be a blog where you're talking about hairstyles. You're also talking about uh, uh, makeup. You're talking about acne. And you're also talking about uh, probably maybe uh, within the hairstyles, but you're talking about curly hair as well as the, uh, uh, you know, ombre hair or maybe balayaji and stuff like that. They need different things. They have different skill sets. And those skill sets will determine how helpful uh, they want you to be to them. And because they need different things, one could be looking for weight loss, the other one could be looking for uh, for building muscles, and the other one is looking for uh, just to reduce cholesterol and stuff like that. They all fall under uh, a healthy niche, but their needs and aspirations are different. So you segment the email list here and you you sort of like break break them down into email a in a, a list a list b and list c this is your main list now all right this is your main list now and once you've managed to to segment uh, your list and you've you've done this now it becomes your job now to sort of like uh, every time you uh, you you write a blog post on your blog, let's say blog post A is about uh, you know uh, how to build muscles uh, in a week. You're not gonna send this uh, this blog post to all your email list when you know that this guy is uh, is trying to lose weight. This guy is 
trying to build muscles and this guy is only trying to reduce cholesterol you're going to send it to this guy to this list so if this email list has got 500 subscribers after you have segmented them so you have 500 in here you have 4,000 here and you have 1,000 in here you're going to send that blog post to this because this blog post is all about people you've put in email list B and that's that's why when you build your following on YouTube we want you to uh, to send them to this landing page but using lead magnets once you've given them lead magnets it, they, you drop them in the, the uh, warm-up email list you segment them here so you know exactly what they they want you understand how to help them so when you're writing your blog posts on your blog you're not just writing them simply because you're hoping that somebody's gonna come and come and read your blog post on the on this platform no you're writing for your audience I write a blog post about building muscles I'm writing for this email list so if you're posting at least one blog post every week you could be writing one blog post for this list a second blog post for this list a third blog post blog post for this list so three articles are going out every week and you're targeting one article for each list and over time because you're continuing to drive people from YouTube to your landing page and recruiting them and helping them into this uh, seven day indoctrination you continue providing value and building your email list here so if YouTube kicked you out you don't need them you already have your own email list that you're writing blog posts here and the same thing goes on here when you write your blog post you're promoting to these guys these guys would more than happy to see ads and promotions that have got to do with the building uh, muscle simply because you're trying to monetize your blog and they're happy to to see those ads because they are in that space if you go and the uh, uh, plug a, 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 a muscle building ad on somebody who is trying to lose weight they're not gonna click it they're not gonna buy a product that you recommend to, to somebody who is trying to lose weight you need to sort of like have this structure for your blog and you, when you every time you publish a blog you're not just publishing a blog post for anybody to come and be and read because you got lucky that day you're writing for your audience and this is your audience here I hope this makes sense I hope this makes sense and the, this is the way how now the whole system would look like I have my YouTube channel here I create a YouTube video I post on my YouTube and people find it valuable and I ask them to say hey guys check below this video there's a link under the you know in the in the in the in the, in the show channel click that link and the, uh, the link takes them to this landing page and this landing page is where I tell them what is happening behind the scenes and if they subscribe they give me their email their email is dropped into uh, into my uh, uh, into my database in here alright in this database is where now I I, 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 I give them uh, I uh, the the email sequence and then they are moved into a warm email list a warm-up email list is an email list where I sort of like put them into uh, what we call an indoctrination sequence this is now educating them so if they're interested in about uh, uh, you know how to build a, a small business uh, from scratch at, at home everything that I teach here will be based on the, those ideas of building a business I'm providing value to them and the, whilst I'm doing this I'm also in a subtle way I'm kind of like uh, using uh, simple tools to segment them and the, 
uh, put them in groups according to their interests and their needs, according to uh, level levels of understanding. So if I put in a classroom of uh, uh, people who are beginning to at, at the beginning of their uh, you know s small business uh, ideas. I have others who are, you know, at an in intermediate level, and others who are at a pro level. These guys, they need, they need, they need me to help them in it uh, in a different ways. So if I uh, if I put them together and the, I I don't segment them properly here, they will get bored and they will they will, uh, they, will, they will unsubscribe from my email list. That's what that's what we are doing. So we are building blogs. The main goal for building a blog is for us, uh, uh, for us to move that blog from uh, making as little as, the, uh, as uh, you know, it could be uh, one thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds every month, and moving it to uh, making ten thousand every month, moving it to making uh, twenty-five thousand pounds every month, and we have sort of like uh, gotten our our, our recipe uh, to a point where we know that when we start a blog uh, from the first day we launch to three months we are expecting that that blog should be making the 1750 that we are talking about then from there uh, from six months to 12 months and uh, or 24 months it should be making at least the 10,000 pounds that we are looking at and we are doing that by simply rinsing and repeating this. It's no secret. There's nothing special, but it requires work. And this, when you've built a business, or when you've built a blog from your YouTube channel, this is how now it's going to look like. If I create a video, I'm going to publish it on my blog and I shoot an email so if if I have a group of people who are starting a blog and my blog post is about how to start a blog or how to build uh, a blog from uh, maybe uh, you know how to increase traffic and stuff like that I'm going to post it I'm going to send that email to uh, to to this group If it's about traffic, I'll send it to this group. If it's about conventional strategies and things like that, then it's for these guys. Now you see, by having my own email list, I am in control of that relationship. I'm controlling that relationship and not YouTube. That's why you need to make sure that if you have hundreds of subscribers of uh, YouTube, fans you need to funnel them to an email list that you can actually put together and by for me by having that email list I'm delivering value to them I make sure that I provide them with everything they need for them to be successful as well I provide you know informative and educational uh, uh, resources so that they they store they, they they stay in the know they are always in the loop I I try to make sure that um, you know my audience knows the value of of how to go about building personal brands how to leverage that personal you know brands that uh, they they they've built over time to go on and uh, either uh, uh, start uh, what we call influencer marketing uh, you know uh, it's good enough to have uh, a very good following on Facebook or maybe on Instagram or on Twitter but it doesn't mean anything if you can't convert those relationships into a business a media company and a Facebook page they're different things Clever people who have uh, uh, social platforms where they have a huge following, they're building businesses on top of that. But uh, they're not building it on other people's platforms. They're building them on their own platform. And your own platform is uh, 
your own blog your own personal website your own uh, you know business brand blog that's what you need to be doing that's why we are sharing what we're sharing that's why we're sharing this information so that you guys uh, can learn and see how you could easily move from uh, you know uh, from being financially dependent to uh, either your spouse or your parents to becoming a master of your own destiny all right okay so i know that uh, you guys are saying okay i understand that now what okay now you know and i've showed you everything that um we are doing here and there are, you've got uh, you've got the whole system broken down i've showed you what you could go and you could you could easily go and build this system uh, on your own and if you need the tools if you need to see the list of the tools that are used to do this they are below this video in the show notes you'll find everything that i use go and use it and build that system but you say uh no uh i don't want to uh, i don't think i can build this so maybe I'd, i need help building this then he, uh join in with me and he, uh, uh, let me help you start uh, a profitable blog let me help you build your own youtube channel where you can provide value and if you want to upgrade people from uh the free base that you're providing on youtube to something more significant on your own platform where you are able to control uh, variables uh, within your relationships let me help you build your own uh, membership site where you know uh, you can provide more value and sell products or services for yourself we we have provided uh, links below this video uh, click that link below this video or comment in the video and let me know uh, what you want to do and we'll be more than happy to, to help you do that all right cheers guys